Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. This end of day report is for trading on Tuesday, July the 26th, 2016. This is our gold and silver report end of day. Starting with black gold, looking at the crude oil futures. As you can see, it's steadily going down, locking in a downtrend here on the daily chart. When you extend it out to the weekly charts, the same thing here. We're locking in a powerful downtrend. This is probably going to drop below the Kumo cloud overhead resistance. It's strong at $50.24. And this is probably going to be the end of the bullish run here as the market had these two trend lines to you know, touch for a minute. It looks like it's going to break away to the downside. So unless, you know, barring some unforeseen event, I just don't see anything bullish on this chart for crude oil in the near future. Looking at the counterpart, uh, this will be ticker OIH. This is the on the equity side of it. Uh, you can see it's oversold now, but it's also looking like it wants to try to lock in too, in sympathy with the crude oil. Since this one, I, I like this particular um, equity, uh, you know, because it really tracks the crude oil futures perfectly. I like it better than UCO. I like it better than USO. It, it's just better because it's really it really follows the, the futures more closely overhead resistance is at thirty dollars and ninety five cents on this one and I see more downside uh, coming uh, it, it, it's looking like it's going to drop below this Kumo cloud which would put it at the twenty five dollar handle so you're looking at in the short term a three dollar move coming but overall it could be extended down here to the twenty dollar handle test this twenty so you could be looking at an eight dollar move coming to the downside in the crude oil so this is definitely going to be one to watch all right here's uso a lot of people like this one uh look at it overhead resistance on this one is at eleven dollars and 91 cents and this one really doesn't have too far to go man i mean if you kick this low out of uh seven dollars and 67 cents where are you gonna go zero so I'm looking at five dollars on this one uh, on a downside target, barring some unforeseen event. This thing is just going nowhere. It's just steadily lower, lower, and lower. Five dollars is going to be my initial target on this one. Um, if it can break that 11.91 though, then it could probably go to 15. But um, you know, this one doesn't track the futures that well like the OIH does. But it's still here, nevertheless. And you know, there are over 100 million people that disagree with me because 107 million shares traded hands uh, last week on this one so it is what it is all right looking at the UCO which a lot of people like and as you can see this one is just flat it's dead in the water there's nothing going on here whatsoever overhead resistance is at $13 and it hit a low of $5.98 it's just going nowhere it's in the oversold but it's locking in um, the way this thing is moving, it really doesn't have a lot of movement in it. I think that 598 though is going to be tested. So you're looking at a four dollar move to the downside in the UCO, possibly, barring any unforeseen event, of course. All right, looking at gold now. As you can see on the gold futures, it is still looking weak. Not oversold yet. Still has a lot, has some more downside it can go. Market's well supported though at uh, 12.55.30. So, you know, it's still bullish. I mean, what can you say? It's still bullish. Uh, really, no conviction here and to the downside. So, this one is going to be one to watch very closely. Taking a look at the daily chart now, you can see it's, you know, how it's come off, but it's just bouncing around the support and this trend line. It's supporting the trend line very close together. So, not much of an air pocket, so this is pretty strong support. Um, it's, even if it does drop below the trend line, you can see there's a nice air pocket before you get to the Kumo cloud. So it's not a lot of conviction. It's turning up a little bit here, so it's just not a lot of conviction in, in this market. And because of the, the slow leak in the balloon, as you can see here, just going back a few days, you can see every breakout has been sold so you can't get any conviction to the upside these here are sold you know it's sold here but then that doesn't last but a few bars and then 
you back up again but then it doesn't it doesn't hold false breakout bam and then here you are no conviction on this one so it's just kind of like you know on an intraday basis just taking people's money right when you think it's gonna break out you get false breakout enough to make people give up and then you create this so they're thinking, well, the next breakout is going to be false too, and I can understand that because you're underneath the Kumo cloud and you keep hitting your your head on the ceiling of the trend line, you know. And you know, you do that enough times, and you know, it, it hurts. So you don't want to keep bumping your head, right? So you know, it did fall from the the 1330s to 1310, you know, level. And what are you going to do? Uh, you know, you just waffle it around here. Not a lot of uh, interest either way. I don't really see selling. I don't really see anything to really buy. I mean, it's just one of those things. So if I had to roll the dice and call it, I would stick with the longer term chart and say that these pullbacks are going to be bought at some point. And I would just stick to that right now uh, going forward in the gold market. All right, taking a look now at the uh, ticker GLD on the equity side of things. You can see same picture here. Um, this market is well supported at 12060, and again, you know, it's flat here after this after the little bit of selling. Not a lot of conviction on the short side, so the bulls are still in control of this market, and 130 seems to be the target that it wants to go to at least test that, if if nothing else. All right, taking a look now at the silver futures same same scenario here well supported at seventeen dollars and fourteen cents not a lot of conviction in the selling market is bullish as ever and i think all pullbacks are going to be bought also in this market with the upside target at twenty bucks all right looking at slv markets well supported at sixteen dollars and thirty three cents again not a lot of conviction on the selling this market looks like it wants to head toward 20 and the futures just looks like it wants to head more toward 22 but this one's 20 in the short term outlook and that's it's just a, a, a really bullish picture right now in the silver even more so uh, than the uh, than the gold market so have to can't ignore that all right taking a look now finishing up with the US dollar as you can see just like the UUP chart I showed you, same picture, overall scenario. They're not going to let this thing fall but so much. Uh, it's just waffling it around. They let it pull back a little bit, and then they bring it right back up again. So it's marching toward that $98 target I, I've been telling you about. Uh, that is a, a strong resistance point, though. So uh, depending on what the Fed does tomorrow, though, it could push it up and try to bump its head on the par again. But 98 is the first stop before you get to a dollar. So if we can get to 98, then we can definitely get to 100. But this is a strong resistance point, and so is par uh, for the U.S. dollar. And right now it's well supported at 94.69. If it breaks out of this Kumo cloud and breaks above that 98 and can close there, it'll be off to the races. They're not going to let the dollar go down. They're not going to let bonds go down. And they're not going to let stocks go down and that's just how it is so every pullback will be bought and it's just a fact of life right now crude oil is the one to sell people seem to be wanting to sell that but the metals all the pullbacks are being bought the dollar pullbacks are being bought <coughs> excuse me so this chart is looking just like the bitcoin chart because bitcoin is his new counterpart and it's going to replace this eventually so that's all we have time for now. Uh, remember, bulls make money, bears make money, but pigs get slaughtered. So take what you can, give nothing back.